Hello everyone and welcome to the One Class channel. My name is Donna Riel and I'm a recent master's graduate in the material science program from the University of Ontario Institute of Technology, also known as Ontario Tech University. So I also got my bachelor's of science at this institution as well in the pharmaceutical chemistry program. So today we're going to go over some commonly asked questions in chemistry at the high school and college level. If you needed any help with homework or tutoring, then check out the links in the description below. So now I'm just going to get started on our set of questions for today's session. Okay, so our first question asks, what is a chromic acid? So... Chromic acid has the following chemical formula, H2CRO4. So basically, if I were to write these out into ions, we'd have two H plus ions. And one CrO4 two minus, which is the chromate ion, and it has a minus two charge. So let me just write out its structure right down here. So there's a double bonded oxygen on the chromate or the chromium, and there's a second one at the bottom here. There's an OH group. And another OH group on the left side. Yeah, that's all there is to it. Let's see what our junior senior said. So chromic acid with chemical formula H2CrO4 is a strong acid because hydrogen ions completely dissociate in the solution. It is toxic and should be made in small quantities and stored in a labeled glass container with a stopper. Proper safety equipment should be worn when preparing chromic acid. It should be prepared in a ventilated room, preferably in a fume hood. To make chromic acid, sodium dichromate or potassium dichromate is mixed with a little water to make a paste. Adding sulfuric acid to the paste while stirring makes chromic acid. This was well explained. This solution is correct. Okay, so now let's move on to question number. Two. 